Randy Quaid, the dude known for wacky roles in flicks like National Lampoon's Vacation and Independence Day, has had enough legal beef to make a solid three-part miniseries. Way back in 2006, he got mixed up in some business at a private party at producer Robert Boyett's place. At the end of the night, Randy ended up suing the makers of Brokeback Mountain for a whopping ten big ones. Million, that is. He claimed they tricked him into accepting a small fee for a low-budget film, which then minted a ton of cash. The suit fell through when Randy didn't show up to court, and a judge dismissed it. While that might have been a mild hiccup, Randy's journey into legal chaos began in 2009. He and his wife, Evi, were arrested for busting into and living in a guest house they once owned, then had sold. The owner was totally not okay with that, obviously. Randy and Evi got slapped with charges like burglary and entering a non-commercial building without consent. Despite skipping their initial hearing, not a cool move, folks, the couple was eventually let off the hook when they paid their fines and restitutions to the owner. What's crazy is that this wasn't the end of it. Randy and Evi again faced felony vandalism charges in 2010 for causing some serious damage to their previous Montecito home. Seriously, who does that? While Evi managed to dodge jail time with three years of probation instead, Randy, who had fled to everyone's favorite northern neighbor Canada, ended up on California's most wanted list. Things got more complicated when Randy claimed actors were being systematically whacked in Hollywood. Yep, you read right. This sparked rampant discussions raging as an online wildfire with an understandably bewildered public, trying to figure out what the heck was going on with our Hollywood funny man. Around the same time, the Quaids declared they were seeking refugee status in Canada, as they believed they were marked people in the land of stars and stripes. These claims were rejected, not once but twice, by our laid-back Canadian friends. The kicker is that Randy and Evi were actually arrested in Canada for outstanding U.S. warrants, those pesky things have a way of following you around, while Evi received her Canadian citizenship, being the daughter of a Canadian. Randy was left in the cold in order to take the next flight home. Obstinately, the Quades turned up uninvited again in 2015, at another house they had once owned in Vermont. This time, faced with trespassing charges, it's like breaking into their old homes had become their favorite pastime hobby or something. Given all the scandals and legal fuss, you'd think Randy would be done with his wild Hollywood adventure, right? Nope. As recent as 2016, our man Quaid showed up on YouTube, ranting about corrupt media and organizations like Warner Brothers. He even cited cases related to some famous folks like Mel Gibson and Britney Spears to validate his outrageous theories. So what's up with Randy and Evi? Hard to say for sure. Some would argue it's a classic Hollywood meltdown, while others think the limelight might have fried a few brain circuits. Whatever the case, their legal story adds enough spice to what otherwise might have been a typical glittering Hollywood saga.